both hope you're all keeping well and keeping safe and uh, taking care of those most vulnerable around us. Um, today, myself and Claire, with Claire, <laughs> we've decided to come out for a little bit of a walk uh, local to us. We've both had a bit of a hectic week at work. Um, as I've mentioned before, Claire works for the NHS and works in the hospitals, so it isn't ideal. And the company I work for, we're currently um, setting up all these drive through testing stations where the NHS and people can go and get tested for this virus. Um, so work's been really, really busy doing that. Um, so escaping. It's nice to just come out and escape for a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. And try and try and forget it and calm the mind and what have you. Um, but yeah, so we're out for a bit of a bimble. And, uh, we're not going to sit down on this or anything. But uh, this spot here, um, I mentioned in one of my earlier videos when we were, um, I was over the other side of the river there where you can see um, where we were looking at some wild edibles and I pointed over to this side. Uh, this side is what we call Horseshoe Bend. Should we carry on yeah. This side is what we call Horseshoe Bend. And as I said in the previous video, it's called Horseshoe Bend because the lay of the land and the way the river flows round. And it's uh, somewhere both myself and Claire have been coming together since we were at school, isn't it? Because yeah. we're old. old. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting old. Uh, but yeah, we absolutely love it down here. Um, I mean, just look through there. Just how beautiful does that look? Looking between the Hawthorne and that looks like there's a bit of elder over there as well. Um, but years ago when we used to come over here all them houses weren't there but uh, when all that was wasteland and they were setting up building sites I, wor <laughs> I worked there um, when they were just setting up building sites many moons ago. Yeah. It's a nice little spot round here for the swans and there's one lone swan there but generally we get quite a lot of breeding pairs along here which in another video in the future we'll come down and we'll take a little look at the signets and stuff that'd be quite nice won't it? Yeah, that'd be nice, isn't it? Let's have a little wander over here because this looks like ground elder oh yeah plenty of ground elder we're going to uh, harvest some of this, but what we're going to do on our walk, we're going to carry on the river. Oh, hang on. Now, how magnificent is that? We've got the other one coming over here to see us. While this is coming over, as I was saying, um, we're going to collect some of that ground elder, but we'll get it over the far bank, over in the far corner. I don't know if you can see me pointing, but uh, the direction that we're looking now, there's quite a lot over there. Um, so we'll have some of that, and we're going to go back home and cook something with it. We're going to collect some ram ramsons in the woods that we'll be walking through, um, and I'll show what we're cooking on another video. Here we are. We've got nothing for you. <laughs> Bless it. We've got nothing for you. But I'm a sandwich. <laughs> that looks fairly young, that one I would say. Oh. Maybe it's one of last year's signets, do you think? Yeah. It's not fully white, is it? It's probably oh. one of last year's signets. Look at that. How beautiful. Such a graceful bird. Well, we're going to carry on, carry on on our walk. We'll catch you back up with you in a little while.
Well, we're just heading through the woods now. It looks absolutely beautiful. Everything's starting to look lush and green now. There's uh, plenty of things about this dog's mercury. There's bits of wild garlic in this wood. There's a lot more of it further along. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Can you hear that? Did you hear that? Woodpecker. Yeah. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but we can hear a woodpecker. Yeah, it doesn't sound too far away from us actually. There we go. Just listen to that bird song. Absolutely amazing. Well, we can't decide if there's more people out or you just notice people more when you're out. Um, but everyone seems to be um, obeying by social distance guidelines, which is good. Um, and if there's a few more people getting out, I suppose people getting out a little bit more to do some exercise is a good thing as long as they are abiding by those social distance guidelines which up to now everyone seems to be doing that yeah okay. yeah as you can see we've just stopped off to get a little bit of uh, this wild garlic we've come up out the way of the track so we're not in people's way if they need to get by we don't need a lot I'll show in another video in what the uh, what the intention for it is. Like I say, we need to collect something else around the other side of the bank called ground elder. Oh, Claire's got some nice flowers in that there as well. Fantastic! I think we've got plenty there now, though. Right, let's head off. As you can probably hear, we are fairly close to the road now. Um, and we're coming to a place, what's always been known locally as Stony Bridge, which is basically, um, I don't even think it's stone, I think it's more concrete, but it's always been known locally as Stony Bridge. Um, years ago, all this used to be filled. We head that way, up there where we're looking now, that bridle way. Um, that's always called, being called the Roman Road. I think, be, I believe, because uh, it was made by, or work was done with by um, Italian prisoner of war during the Second World War, but I don't know how true that is. But yeah, this is Stony Bridge. We cross here years ago, when myself and Claire used to come along here. None of this was here. This was all fields, and we'd come across here, and we'd face that direction, and all that was uh, uh, dairy farms in that way. You used to get called Milky Can Lane. You used to cross the fields in that direction, then onto a onto a little back country road, and uh, as I say, that was called Milky Can Lane. But yeah, all this was um, fields. And uh, over in the direction of Pointman now, um, somewhere along there, that's where I used to do most of my camping when I was in my teens. But we'll have a little look as we get further around. There we go, that's what we call Pipey Bridge. And back in my time when I used to come along here camping, I'd be camping over 
in that direction somewhere. <coughs> a place called Barry Quarry. A non locally called Barry Quarry. Um, we used to climb up on this bridge, but back then it didn't have the fences around it as it does now. Uh, the security wasn't where it is now. And we used to climb up there and run around on the top and just climb about and have great fun. But that's like back in the late 80s and things uh, have changed massively then. Now, rather. Now we'll go and catch up with Claire. Right, we've just stopped off in this little bit, haven't we? Yeah, it's a uh, place now. Yeah, it's a nice little spot. We just thought we'd stop here, um, have a bit of a rest, have a drink, we've got some coffee, we've got some water, rehydrate before we set off back, walking back. Um, but yeah, we're a stunning little spot it is to just sit and chill. Nice and quiet, nice and peaceful. Right, that's us. Finished our little rest and a quick drink. We're going to set off back now in the same direction we came, but pass under that bridge and carry on this side of the river. As I said, it's the opposite side to what we were, but just look how magnificent that looks. That heathland looks stunning, doesn't it? We've got some uh, giant hogweed down there starting to come through. An absolutely terrible plant but yeah we'll carry on we're right, just having a little look at the swans over there on the reeds looks like the air uh, starting to get ready for nesting and that woodland there on the other side of the river that's the woodland that we walked through on our way up and as you can probably gather we're on the opposite bank now um, walking back in the direction we came which has done an absolutely beautiful day really enjoying this walk just needed it didn't we you there just needed it didn't we this walk yeah definitely I'm okay. oh, beautiful right we're gonna carry on As you can see, when I was saying horseshoe bend, you can see that's the, that's the tip of the horseshoe and you can see it coming around this way. Um, as we walk further down, we'll um, be able to uh, see this side of the bank. We'll probably get that from here anyway. There's a little gap here, looks like a fishing peg. See the tip of the horseshoe and if we look along just across there is where we were earlier we might be able to get right opposite where I spoke to the camera earlier right the area we are now is where I done the video the other week um, with the wild edibles once I dropped Claire off at work just before um, all this craziness really started to uh, hit home. If we take a look at the riverbank there, the other side, that's where um, myself and Claire, where we started the video, where we started talking to the camera um, when we first set out on this little walk. Yeah, we're going to carry on on our little walk. Um, we're going to stop off and harvest some ground elder. Um, for the next video, what will be after this one I should think um, hence we've got some wild garlic as well um, we've really enjoyed this walk haven't we? it's amazing, loved it's, it it's been something we've needed nice to get out, a beautiful day um, we've seen a few people and thankfully 
everybody is being really polite and everyone is adherent to social distance guidelines it just makes you feel like you can enjoy your time outdoors um, and yeah it's nice to get out but as long as we stick to that social distance guidelines anyway we're gonna say our goodbyes now end the video here and we just say we hope you've enjoyed jo joined I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> enjoyed getting out with us on this one we've enjoyed being out um, yeah. it's been good hasn't it yeah. uh, and we just like to say stay safe if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe and please give the video the thumbs up it does help the channel quite a lot uh, mm -hmm. and we really do appreciate all the support yeah and as always stay safe yes, and do your best to help those that are a little bit more vulnerable bye for now and we'll see you again on bye the next one now.